Hi, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gudila and our today topic is machine. This is topic for science year 4 unit 10. What is machine? Machines are tools that make our work easier, faster and comfortable. Machine we have a simple machine which is the simple device that allows us to use less force to make work easier and faster. We also have complex machine which is machine has two or more simple machine working together. Simple machine. This is the type of simple machines. The first one we have inclined plane, wedge, lever, gear, screw, pulley, wheel and axle. The example of inclined planes such as the escalator, the stairs, wedge, lever, gear, screw, pulley and wheel and axle. We go through one by one. The first one is lever. Lever is a tool that consists of a rod fixed on a fulcrum to lift up or pre up the load of objects. So in this diagram, you can see fulcrum, load and effort. Lever can be divided into three types which is the first class, second class and third class of lever. For the first class lever, the fulcrum is placed between the load and effort. The fulcrum was at the middle, the load and the effort was at the end. The example of first class lever is such as seesaw, scissors, nail cutters and we move here. What happened if we placing the fulcrum nearer to the load? Actually, when we place the fulcrum nearer to the load, we will only need less force to lift up the load. Meanwhile, if we apply the for effort closer to the load, in like in this diagram, so actually we need more energy, more force, more effort to lift up the load. Next. This is a second class lever. The load is placed between the effort and fulcrum. The load was at the middle. The effort and the fulcrum was at the end. For example, like the paper cutter, wheelbarrow, nutcracker, and bottle opener. Next, we have the third class lever. The effort is placed between the fulcrum and load such as tong, fishing rod, and if you are sweeping the floor. Next, incline plane. Incline plane is a tilted flat surface which has one of its end at the different height. So, for example, like the stairs, like this one, road, uh, around the Hills. Okay, wedge. Wedge is a tool which has one pointed end and it's used to cut, hold, and stop an object. For example, like knife, anything that have sharp end, and then edge, scissors. Okay, next, gear. Gear is a tool that consists of jack wheel. For example, like this one, gear, the gear was there. And then bicycle, okay, the gear was there. And then a watch, the gear inside the watch. We have this one, mixer, hand mixer, that is the gear. Okay. So, what is the functions of gear? Gear is used to change the speed of movement. It also can change the directions of movement. 
reduce the force required to move big object. Next, we move to the screw. Screw is a groove cylindrical tools that can be inserted into object by rotating it to unite or tighten two parts of an object. So for example like this one, that is the screw. We have this, this one screw, and even the that also have screw. Next, we move to the pulley. Pulley is a tool that consists of a wheel with groove that allows a rope to pass through it to lead or lower a load. For example, like this. Okay, we have effort. That is the pulley to lift up or lift down a load. Same like in if you want to rise up a flat, that is the pulley, and that is the pulley. This one for this one for crane crane. <laughs> this one uh, for the wheel okay that is the pulley next wheel and axle wheel and axle is a tool that consists of a wheel fixed on a road called axle so that is the wheel that is the axle it has also ferry wheel <laughs> so that is the wheel that is the axle Okay, this is a, a pencil sharpener. <laughs> okay, that is the wheel. And in the middle, we have the axle. Okay, there's a question. A seesaw is an example of lever. Flag, we have mm, pulley. Okay, this one is a pulley. This one, we have wedge. A simple machine that split, split and object apart so that is a wedge okay complex machine a tools that consists of a combination of more than one simple machine for example like this one so these three we have the load fulcrum and effect or force so this is referring to the lever and then we have a sharp end there so that is wedge and we have screw at the middle. Next, wheelbarrow. So load, we can put load at the middle, fulcrum, and effort. So these are lever, but at the same time we have wheel and axle, and screw. Okay, next, bicycle. So that we have wheel and axle. Here we have gear, there we have screw next sustainable machine sustainable machine must have these properties first does not give bad impact to the environment durable simple safe to use not easily damaged so this is a questions. Maybe you can do it after this. Try, pause, and try to answer these questions. And then I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.